We give you the latest BCS standings brought to you by Allstate. And in that vein of what Kirk's talking about, how about the story with Jerry Kill in Minnesota there in the BCS standings at number 25? And Coach O has SC in there at 23. Yeah, and I tell you what, look at Ole Miss, too. You think about that, three losses. Think about who they lost to, Alabama, A&M, and Auburn. <clears throat> Those are three pretty good football teams. Which at 16 through 20, Northern Illinois sitting at 16, and they are ranked ahead of UCF, the highest-ranked team from the American. The American's an automatic qualifying conference, so you have to be in the top 16 ranked ahead of conference champion in order to get a bid to the BCS if you're outside those automatic qualifiers. Arizona conference. State's looked really impressive recently and the computers love them. They have them at 11 right now after they've had to play Wisconsin, Notre Dame, Stanford, and USC. They got a huge game coming up against UCLA. But the highest ranked team from outside the automatic qualifying conference is Fresno State sitting at 15, so they too ahead of UCF and in position if they keep winning to get a BCS bid. How about Michigan State jumping way up, but A&M, Really important that they stay up there in the BCS conversation because Johnny football is an attractive ticket. Top 10 of the latest BCS rankings brought to you by Tostitos. Going to take the drama away. Alabama and Florida State still sitting at 1-2, tied with a comfortable edge. Oklahoma State is up a couple of spots to number 10. Huge opportunity for the Cowboys this weekend against Baylor. Game day comes to town. Pokes win that game. They're going to go way up the charts with a bullet. Stanford slips to number 9. Just ahead of Stanford at number eight, Missouri. Very quietly, still with one loss, but the Tigers can get noisy down the stretch. Two ranked teams left on their regular season schedule, then a potential SEC championship game would at worst be against a top five team and potentially against the number one team. Missouri has a big opportunity in front of them through the rest of November and early December. Just ahead of Missouri is Clemson. The Tigers' best hope is a BCS at large spot. At number six, much like Missouri, Auburn has all kinds of opportunities in front of them. After the miracle on the plains to stay with one loss, beating Georgia in the waning seconds, Auburn has the hugest iron bowl that has been on display since the SEC went into divisions. If Auburn could knock off Alabama, no question they would be atop the one loss teams in the BCS standings. But at the moment, a one loss team still ranked ahead of Auburn, the Oregon Ducks back in the Rose Bowl picture after getting a reprieve from the governor. Governor Orgeron of USC beat Stanford, put the Ducks back in control in the Pac-12 North. Here's where the drama is. Ohio State and Baylor with the Buckeyes' lackluster performance against Illinois cost them. Maybe, but not quite yet. Baylor's still sitting at number four. They're actually up a spot since Stanford lost, but Baylor has now moved itself in position. Its schedule down the stretch at least is going to be perceived to be slightly tougher than Ohio State's. Not sure what the computers will think about that. The voters might think so. And at the moment, Ohio State is clinging, clinging to the third spot. Just by a little bit here, as you see in the mathematical, 0.887 to 0.886. If Baylor beats Oklahoma State this weekend, it would seem to be a virtual certainty that the Bears would hop up to number three. Now, if you want to argue Alabama, Florida State, Go ahead, knock yourself out. What you're arguing about is jersey colors. This is the more compelling argument. What happens if one of these two teams lose? It would appear that Baylor would be in better long-term position than Ohio State. That's what it appears to be.